Welcome back. We've been watching Hurricane Melissa for a few days as it reaches the shores of Jamaica. Today we have a different look at a giant storm like this. You're going to want to see it. Derek Van Dam takes a look at how hurricane hunters fly into the eye to determine just how strong the winds are inside. These airborne laboratories capture critical weather information from all corners of a storm. This crisscross pattern that you see here allows for weather conditions to be sampled at different altitudes and quadrants of a hurricane. At this stage, the storm could be rapidly strengthening. Significant drops in pressure and increases in wind speed are adding stresses to the aircraft. Now, the crew can experience extreme turbulence with drops in altitude of hundreds of feet in a matter of seconds. The plane descends to 10,000 feet so they can punch through the eye wall, the strongest part of the storm where winds can exceed 150 miles per hour. And just like that, conditions go eerily quiet. The clouds clear above them as the air descends into the center of the storm, creating a stadium effect where the towering clouds of the eye wall surrounding the storm's clear center and create the look of a stadium. How? You can see all the way to the blue sky. At this point, the navigator marks the center of the storm, an important waypoint for predicting the future path of a hurricane. While a device known as a drop sound is released from the belly of the plane, this little instrument transmits crucial weather data back to the plane as it falls all the way down to the ocean surface. That data is analyzed by meteorologists and computers back at the National Hurricane Center, helping to create the updated forecast that you see at home so you can make informed decisions ahead of the storm. And here's actual video from inside the eye of Melissa. The U.S. Air Force's Reserve 53rd Weather Reconnaissance Squadron is monitoring the storm. They released this video showing what it looks like. At one point, this is so strong, they had to turn away due to extreme turbulence near the storm's eye wall. That's uh, apparently pretty rare. Lance, this looks like uh, something out of a movie. Yeah, it certainly is. I mean, and it's it's crazy that type of environment right there. The other thing uh, you'll note that they they use propellers in that, right? Did you yeah. see that? Okay, uh -huh. so propellers on those planes are used because they can fly and they can still control them in extreme turbulence. It's better than using jet engines, and they can fly at very low altitudes. That's why they use the propellers and they can get through hail, which is actually, there's some hail in those storms, a little bit. Really? And then there's also bird strikes are possible too, because birds get caught in that eye. So that's why they use that type of aircraft, especially designed for it. Is it man-made? I mean, is it man-aired? Uh, like, are there men up there? Oh yeah, or oh is yeah. It a... Yeah, no, they're, oh, they're wow. oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm.